Hey everyone, welcome back to another war video. This one, war number 7 of season 39, for Loki taking on GT40. You can see I have Archangel, Sim Supreme, and White Magneto. White Magneto is just there for some pre-fights. Uh, four fights this war, two with Archangel and two with Sim, so let's jump right in. Uh, I'm on path one in section one, so I have this King Groot here. I'm going to be using Sim Supreme. Um, Sim Supreme is a um, debuff detox attacker, and... Um, King Groot is a um, unsteady ground defender, so Sim counters this fight pretty well. Uh, the other thing about this fight is it is a masochism fight, uh, but it's a masochism fight where if you do put a debuff on, um, it's a buff, so Sim can nullify it. Uh, so basically my strategy here is to get to the special three, uh, bait out a special one. I'm going to bait out another special one just so he's at low power. I just don't want to deal with, with King Groot's special two. Um, it's just one of those, like, I mean, you, you're supposed to block it. You know, if you do block it, it's nothing too crazy, but I just don't want to deal with it. A special one is super easy to deal with. I want to keep him there. Um, so here I throw the special three. Um, the other thing to note is I did not place a White Magneto pre-fight here. Um, it would have been pretty wasted because uh, Sim is not technically a hero. There, I missed the Special 2 button. I went to throw the Special 2 and totally missed. Um, so I get back up to another Special 3 because I parried, uh, which then nullified the regen um, from his... Um, from the masochism. So actually it's kind of going to kind of work out because now the masochism's on cooldown. Um, so although actually never mind the mat because the masochism just went away. Uh, but that's all right. So here I'm going to throw the special two. Um, it's going to do a whole bunch of damage, give me a whole bunch of power back. I'm going to throw the special two one more time and that's going to do it for King Groot. So nothing too crazy. Um, it was a big beefy King Groot, but Sim able to take it down pretty smoothly. So next fight is going to be the very next node. This is node 20. Um, this is, again, a masochism fight. Um, and it has strike counter, and it is Nick Fury. So I'm using Archangel. So Archangel is not a global attacker, um, whereas uh, Nick Fury is a global defender. So a little bit of a... Uh, just something you got to keep in mind. Um, so I do pop a power start one. Um, and with strike counter, and I've gone over this before, but I like to do three different combos in some way, shape, or form, um, a heavy, a medium, medium, and then a medium and four lights. Um, that is pretty much always able to get you to where you need to go. Um, with this Nick Fury, it's strike counter Fury, so I do not want him to get any because then his, um, his tack charges will be, uh, totally... His tax charges will be paused the entire fight. Um, so at this point, I get down the first life pretty easy. Um, nothing too crazy to worry about here. I'm just I'm just throwing special ones uh, because you know, like I said, I just don't want him to get those extra furies at this point. You know, his tax charges are charged anyway, so I'm not concerned about the tax charge part of it. I'm just concerned about the you know him hitting my block for about a billion. Um, so here, you know, it, this is a rather high sig. I think it's a max sig. Um, Nick Fury. So the second life is ticking down. Uh, it's taking its sweet time. Um, but here, you know, I'm going to there. I meant to throw the special. I missed the button. So he throws a special one. He's unblockable now. So I'm in a very awkward position where he's unblockable. Um, and so this is where Nick Fury's ability against mutants kind of works against me. Um, so the way that Nick works is if you hit him, he's got a 100% chance to get attack charge, uh, but it's only a 25% chance, chance against mutants. So at this point, I want him to get to 20, because at this point I've kind of thrown the uh, strike counter a little bit out of the... Um, a little bit out of the way, but I just want him to get the 20, but you know, I am able to uh, bleed him out just enough. So it got a little dicey there down the stretch um, with missing that special button, but Archangel able to um, to finish it off. So I am also on path one in section two. Um, I have this Wong on the buffet node, so I will be using Archangel once again. Um, Archangel, obviously an excellent buffet counter, as he can just counter regen. Um, not the best uh, bleed RNG there to start, but I do get one poison on one bleed, so that kind of makes up for it. Um, so here, you know, just it's just a parry heavy fight, just trying not to do anything crazy, trying to, you know, keep in mind Wong's um, Wongness. So basically, if he gets his charges over 90, I have to make sure to hit him with a heavy, uh, but I'm doing that anyway. So here, I dex the special one a little too early, um, so that was super fun, but you know, you can see um, 
the neuro goes off. I throw the special one here because I had a whole bunch of bleeds on, so then I can get a whole bunch of poisons. Um, so there's another parry heavy. So this fight going pretty smooth so far, other than the special one missed decks. Um, but Archangel able to take care of that with very little issue. Um, so last fight of the war here is going to be this Arcus on... Uh, node 54, which is the power gain mini. Um, I'm going to be using Sim Supreme again. Um, Sim Supreme, like I mentioned earlier, is a uh, debuff detox um, attacker, so he's pretty good for Arcus. Uh, the one thing you really got to worry about for Arcus here is his shrug. Um, like I said, I can't place a white Magneto pre-fight here because it's, well, I, I did place a white Magneto pre-fight, but I don't get the benefit of the passive stun. Um, so here I'm, I popped an invulnerability boost because I know his power is going to get out of control the longer this fight goes. Um, I don't want him throwing a special two, so I'm just you know, holding block, hoping he doesn't throw it. Um, so I'd much rather would push him to the special three. So I throw my special three first, which is nice. Um, so I'll be able to nullify all the power gains he had. Um, so the thing with Arcus is special three. Um, I think he's going to throw it here. Yeah. So he, he throws a special three. Um, the thing with Arcus' special three is he puts on basically like a permanent armor break and he's, you know, so the way Arcus works is when, when you're close to him, you can get cold snapped and armor broken. Uh, after he throws a special three, the entire map is cl is considered close to him, um, so he can constantly be putting stuff on you. Um, so, but um, Sim is able to uh, debuff detox it away, so that's pretty nice. Um, so here, I, I throw the special two here um, to, you know, you can see the bleeds really stacking up. Um, I'm going to try to throw the special two here. I, he gets, I, I, I threw it a little early, but he was very agreeable in the fact that he just ran straight into it. Um, so I got a little lucky here, but now I'm in a little bit of an awkward spot, but I was able to push him back up to a special three, um, which, like I said, you know, I... I, I miraculously have not been hit by a normal combo as of yet so i still have two more um hits now one more hit uh, of the invulnerability boost um that i can still tank um so the fight you know is taking a little bit um just because you know it, it's it's a little bit of a tough uh fight in order to manage especially after you get out of that first special three cycle but you can see i'm able to shoot up to my special three um, so I throw that. I don't think this is going to be quite enough to KO. It's not. Um, so here he throws a special one. So that's nice. He just dumps his power. Gives me a little bit of a little bit of breathing room here. Cause it's always a little bit, um, awkward when he gets up to that special two. Cause if he just throws a special two, it's unblockable. And at that point in the fight, he's probably going to KO me. Um, but Sim able to finish off the rest. Um, so fun fight. Um, Four fights in this one, uh, was able to get through all of them, um, so that puts me at 32 fights on the season. The two deaths in my streak is now up to six. Uh, in terms of the war itself, you know, <laughs> GT40 is just, they're really good. We played well, um, but, you know, they're just, they're, they're the best for a reason. So we do drop this one. Uh, we're five and two now. We dropped to fourth place. Still pretty well positioned here for the season. Um, so, but that'll do it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and I will see everyone soon.